shall, shall let it all out. These are the things I can do without. Come on. The sword of Excalibur. Yeah. This is the prop I use in a video. And actually it came with this. And it came with this right here. This is like a uh, thing you put on your arm. Like, ah. Yeah. That was for the video I did called The Warrior Way. Yeah, pretty cool shit. Ah. Uh, this is going to be a beer review, by the way, guys. Uh, I wasted 48 minutes, seconds of being done. But yeah, the video is going to be a video of a beer that I've seen hundreds of times, but have never actually bought. And it's been advertised frequently on television and all that. And the name of that beer is... Shock Top Belgium White. Belgian, 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 B12 Bomber. B12 it's a video game sauce. Let's do the video in a minute, but yeah. This is Shock Top. And uh, yeah, it's uh, Brewing uh, St. Louis, Missouri. It's 5.2 out by volume. It's basically one of those wheat ales. It um, has a little backstory. Let's see. Pour down side of glass until uh, half inch is left in the bottle. Swirl and pour remaining. Hmm. Brewed to properly blend slice spices and release the aroma and flavor. So I'm going to actually follow the instructions. It says pour to until half inch is left in there. So a half inch will be like a little bit barely. So it's a twist off cap. Oh, well, we got a little smoky to bear in there. I don't know if you guys are going to see it. I don't want to too much. I don't want to make a second pour it all up onto my computer. So, yeah, it's kind of very, very misty looking. I've had it in the top of the fridge, so I hope it's not too slushy. So, yeah, we got that got that action going on there. We got to pour that. Oh, look at that pour. Now we're going to actually see. I think it's about half a six. It's about, it's about, like, about half an inch, I guess. So, we're going to whisk it. Whisk it up a little bit like that. Get that, get that funk. I'm probably trying to get the. Cause I've seen a um, great YouTuber by the name of Ronald the Ride do this a lot with some of his beers. So I'm just gonna pour it in there like that. Look at that. Uh, actually helps the head a little bit also. So anyway, let's look at it. First of all, just looking at this. This is so. Muggy and thick. I can't see shit. I just can't see shit in here, man. It's very not translucent. You cannot see my finger. Um, let's, uh, let's see. Well, I forgot to say trusty mug, but I don't let's get ready to chug some of that. You definitely feel that orange taste, the orange, the wheat, of course, the grain, the coriander. I think I said it right. Making myself sound like I know what the hell I'm talking about. When it comes to these beer reviews. But you know, you become a professional with the beer reviews if you keep on doing them. As much as I thought. But yeah, it's got a uh, head of lemon, I think, in it. Not so bitter whatsoever. It's uh, actually very refreshing. Um, at the taste, it barely even stays. It kind of fades away a little bit. Although you can still taste the the, the orange peel on the tongue. It's not a bad tasting beer. I'm surprised I've never actually done a review of the Shop Top. I've seen commercials on, of course, YouTube, and I've also seen them on TV of this particular beer. 
Um, it's very, very refreshing, very, very cool tasting. I like the actual shape of the glass. I like the the orange. It actually shows a picture of a guy of where orange actually with a kind of like man face. You know, it kind of reminds me of this kind of moon guy. What was his name? I don't even remember. Remember the commercials with the guy with the McDonald's commercials from back in the 80s? McDonald's! That's kind of like that whole thing with like, remember Max Hedrum? Yeah. Was it Coca Cola or Pepsi? I forget. Yeah, it was Coca Cola. Yeah, I remember that. I actually remember Max Hedrum, the movie. It was a movie called Max Hedrum. It was a TV show, short lived. TV show, Max Andrew, yeah. I'm going rambling and shit. It's probably because I've had too much uh, liquor. Or something. Hold on. But yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. I ain't lying. When you first taste it, it hits you. It's this. Uh, it's just it's got a real, real nice flavor. It's not bitter to me. It's actually pretty good. I can put this. Right next to what's the other wheat beer I had? Uh, um, yeah, I can put that with Blue Moon. It actually has a feel and a taste like Blue Moon. And if you had Blue Moon, you will definitely like Shock Top. I give this a thumbs up, five stars, or uh, whatever. I don't even have a rating system. I just said, uh, fuck it. Uh, but yeah, this is Jug82 said. I should have got more than one fucking bottle of this shit. It's good. But yeah, this is Jug82. Signing off.